All right, time to go. All right, time for pew pews. Stuff around here I haven't seen. Overgrown ruins. Hmm. I can teleport up there. There's some platforms in front of us, too. Look, there's secrets on those platforms. Let's go up over here first, though. I'm gonna get some loot. I gotta warm up a little bit. It's been a couple days. Hello. Got some loot there. Off to a good start. Hey. Dun, 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 dun. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. I see him. Gotcha. Little bit of a warm up, I like that. A key, lovely. Why did I not break that? There we go. Like, excuse me, please. McCom cables, I think, for those resubs, guys. Take one of those. I guess we'll see what's in here next. All right, I'll take that. Um, oh, secret area. Weapon choice. Shield breaker. No, thank you. Sidearm with homie missile. No, thank you. And carbine with shock stream. OP weapon. For now. Swamp Thief, Straight Tick. Thank you for the resub. And Tina Fur. Thank you very much, guys. Watch it, sir. Bum, 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 bum. This game is so much fun. I like it so much. Repairs moderate integrity. Okay. Well, let's see what's in the prize room. Blue usually means it's there's prizes over here. But not always. Well, what's this? 20% chance for hostiles to explode on death. Worth it. This was on PC. It might be on PC one day in the distant future, but not for a long time because they want to sell PS5s. But lots of people want to buy them, but they can't find them because of the chip shortage right now. Hopefully that starts getting sorted out soon. 
Uh, no, thank you. Loot. Beautiful, beautiful. Almost missed out on that loot from the purple things. I needed, I can't remember how much I needed for the uh, upgrade. One fifty? Oh, we're one forty-five. Really? One? I gotta kill like one enemy. Gotcha, sir. Okay, then. More of them. Syphilim. little bit of a heal, which I really need right now. Shield breaker. Mm. Nah, I don't need that. Let's look down here. But I saw vines with a healy. Okay. Surviving a killing blow detaches afterwards, triggers a critical malfunction on death. Oh, it's an extra life. Uh, I'll hold off on that one for now. The shotgun is not very good because you're not really in melee range that much. Um, and so many enemies in some levels fly and that you can't really get close enough. It does good damage if you beat next to something. It's just you're not really next to stuff very much. I'll take this. Yeah, its damage range just needs to be expanded just a bit and it would be fine, but the way it currently is you gotta be too close for it to do good damage. There is a um, upgrade you can get on the weapon that increased damage range a bit. Has to randomly roll that though. See what's in here first. Okay, this room again, so. No, thank you. Horizontal barrage. Overheat limit. No. Well, we just have to collect one parasite. That's not bad. Okay, I didn't get any um, malignancy for that one. That's good. Well, we can go collect that parasite, I guess. And... That would do it.
It'll uh, unfortunately trigger a critical um, malfunction on death, but <laughs> could be okay. Back over a few more few more rooms. You think it's across here? Yes. Sidearms go with certain builds. I haven't actually uh, played with the sidearm much. It seems pretty mediocre, but maybe with a lot of upgrades, it could be good. Christy level five. Ooh. Like how it gives you that boost. To catch up where you should be by reaching this area. so quick let's see what that parasite is right there um creases the parapet reduces melee damage that's fine I don't plan on meleeing too much a key nice there's something up there we can't quite reach it Yeah, this game has been super, super, super fun so far. If you have a PS5, it's a definite buy if you like roguelikes. There is a cow. Thank you for five gifts us for chat. Suffer damage of picking up items. Never. Uh, earn salvage next three kills. Eats away a large amount of proficiency on detach. I think the downside there helps. Some of the negatives are really, really, really bad. Nowhere with 24 gifts up for chap. What is happening? I guess those are like the, the loot goblins, the golden guys. Maximum health increase. Uh, the monsters remind me of the Matrix uh, Sentinels that were attacking the ship. But they're like tentacle things. Also, a little Dr. Octopus. So there's a chest around here, but where? Oh, right there in front of me. That is 
so strong. Oh, we do have a couple keys. So let's see what's in here. Something new. What is this? Enables a more powerful melee attack. Oh. After I... After I got the debuff to have less melee damage. That's perfect synergy. A great buff to melee. Oh, oops. Did you get a debuff to your melee damage? Oh, I'm sorry. Integrity, but has a malignancy. Okay, I'm gonna remember to grab the item this time. I'm going to grab the item. I will remember to grab it. Okay, that's something new. What is that? Getting hit briefly increases melee damage by 100%. getting all these melee buffs. All of them. And they're... And I got that big old negative 50% melee damage. What is this anti-synergy? It's like the game's like, <laughs> let's give them melee buffs now. <laughs> Yeah, goodbye, sir. You annoy me. Hmm. Yeah, very, very melee focused now, but... I need to get rid of this parasite on me. Fills one slot towards max integrity or inflicts damage. Ah, got it. It still worked. Alright, some free money. I like that. Also one up that way, but I can't get up there. I don't have the grapple hook thingy yet. Which I should put probably be getting sometime in the near future, I'd imagine. The areas are a mix of random generation and set pieces where they generate around the set pieces. Whoops. Yeah, I keep forgetting about the sprint. Oh, hello. Oops, I can jump around the sides. I can jump around, jump, jump, jump around.
Maybe. I need an upgrade for this. Or just walk up the damn stairs. That would be useful. Shield breaker. I really don't like that weapon, though. I'm going to try it, though. It's probably way better damage than what I got now, though. It's like such a huge weapon number increase so it's probably good and this weapon isn't too bad but it's I don't know it's not my favorite weapon type I don't know maybe it it's like an LMG with not as great damage so I want loot yes yeah, it is level six though. <laughs> ah, sorry. Um, no. I can't get through that without taking lots and lots of damage. So it shoots, shoots a massive shot as its main thing. Well, let me let me see. Well, I'm gonna take lots of damage, but I, uh, it might be worth it. No. Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah, that is like a lot of damage. You can't dash while in it, and it's just bad. And there's lasers everywhere. You must need some sort of upgrade for those, because that is. Ugh. Yeah, that's an oopsie. Very much oops. I see an item. What is that? Oh, it's a platform to grab grapple onto, which I can't do yet. Well, we can see what's over here. It's probably enemies and then loot and stuff. It's actually not bad. It's doing pretty good. Dropped obelisk lasts longer. Suffer damage picking up items. No, oh, thank you. I don't want the picking up items hurts me thing. That's bad. 
you're so bad at this, you'll get the hang of it. If you're not used to control, if you're, if it, the, the, issue, the reason you're not bad is because of the controller. That I understand. It takes a long time to get used to using a controller. Ether! Yay! Yay! <laughs> uh, they also have an auto aim settings so if you're really really bad at controller aiming you can turn that up to high and it'll help a lot I am planning a hot tub stream but it's gonna be a fondue stream hot tub oil Oh, I forgot to move my thing over to the right. I'm sorry. Greatly increases max per integrity. Yes. I like that one. It gives me a bunch more health to work with. Just lowers proficiency, so I'll level a little bit slower. Which isn't bad. The trade-off's way worth it. I need to go. What is fondue? Uh, you can either have oil fondue or cheese fondue, where you have a boiling pot of oil or a big hot tub of cheese sauce, and you just dip things into it. It was real big in like the 60s and 70s and a little bit in the 80s, but they, it's not as popular anymore. You basically boil meats and breads and stuff in the oil and eat it, or... Uh, dip things in the hot cheese fondue. Oh wait, I forgot this was here. Never heard of oil fondue? It's, it's basically like, it's like deep frying, like you're deep frying stuff. Deep frying meat, deep frying bread. You can actually have a chocolate fondue too if you want to have like sweet stuff. Speaking of sweet stuff, did you know that our G Fuel code is boosted? Ah! Our G Fuel code is boosted through the weekend to 30% off. Anything you thinking about trying G Fuel or, or for the first time or stocking up on your favorite flavors? Links in chat there. Use code word DANZAGAMING. Save some moolah from our sponsor, Corsair. So, I'm sorry, G Fuel. And we also have our Corsair code. It's always 10% off at Corsair.com. The Melting Pot, yeah, is a restaurant that has, still has fondue. Ether? So much ether. So we're briefing please screen protection. Yes. I like bonuses. <laughs> mm. And another ether. So much ether. I think that was everything. 
There was so much loot in this tower. It looks like there's another loot down that way. Yeah, the vault. What is this artifact? Grants plus five weapon damage for every 200 obelisks carried. It's not bad. Just gotta hold a bunch of those things on me. So if I hoard money, I get more damage. Okay, let me see, what does this weapon do? Let's see, serrated. Uh, additional damage over time. Check out seek additional hotels by hitting the initial target. Ooh. That actually makes this weapon pretty good. Somehow I missed this for it. I actually like this one. Ground spikes. Ground spikes a massive chunk of damage, so I'll take that. Yeah, finding a non-scalped PS5 right now is very, very hard. Why do I hear an enemy? I saw where it is. I think over here. Hello. Alright, she's that's not bad. Got a lot of good loot there. What is that right there? Oh, that's the suffer damage. That will not take. Okay, we got tons of upgrades. Love looking at this game in the environment, it's great. How did you open the yellow barrier? I smacked it with my the sword. Mm. I'm scavenging for loot because I want all the good loot. Oh God. Reach max adrenaline. Well, I'm gonna use that one. Oh, wrong one. There we go. Mm -hmm. Or 
horizontal barrage. Mm, I don't like the shotgun, though. I will pass on grass. I mean, the shotgun. Okay, I saw a loot over here. It only has eight in it. Oh my god, it's so little. I get the grappling hook soon. then uh that guy sucked a lot nope Whew. yeah the what oh no damn um those uh those guys that teleport up on your butt while you're fighting is a really really annoying yes I hate the random pits like that. Oh, just not expect like randomly. There's a random endless pit that you die on. Suit integrity upgrade. Nice. More. That's more of a weapon bonus. See what's in this star symbol room? Got him though. He gone. Whoa, hello.
Master and Shockstream. Hmm. And level 9. I'll try it. Whew. Okay. Pick up and resin gives you shield against the next hit. There's moderate damage. Integrity. Carbine with blast shell. I'd rather have carbine for sure. Alright, suit integrity increased. Very nice. Max integrity again. All right, let's see what the weapon does. Okay, let's see. Been live for about an hour, so let's start. All right, welcome back, everybody. We're currently playing some more. Hold on. I have to do something really quickly. Or I will forget. Hyper Resident Evil Village? Oh my god, yes. So much. <laughs> 